Draymond Green is running it back after USWNT star Megan Rapinoe criticized his controversial comments on the lack of support for women's sports in their fight for equal pay as male athletes. Dre responded saying, quote, at the end of the day, what Megan wants and what I want is the same thing. And if she believes that doing something a certain way gets her to the end goal, I'm all for it. And if I believe doing something a certain way gets to the end goal, I'm all for that. So if we can both do something to move the needle to get to the end goal, great. I have no complaints with whatever it is that she wants to do or any woman athlete or anyone that's trying to help drive their cause and what they want to be done. It doesn't really matter to me how you get there. What does matter to me is that we get there. Janae, I'm going to start with you because we heard last week he was all over the place with his comments. Now really backtracking a little bit. So you good with his explanation? Thank you, Day Day. Thank you, Draymond. Now, I did watch the video. It was 13 minutes long of his comments. Um, and as always with Draymond, the passion is there. And I really appreciate that. And I think that that's the most important thing, passion for all of us to grow. The men's game, the women's game, we're all one together because we're all you know, striving to be our greatest versions of ourselves as professional athletes. And again, to some degree, what Draymond Green is trying to say is right. We want investment. We want our stories to be told. We are absolutely on the same team, and I appreciate that. I just think sometimes the delivery, the delivery doesn't really match, you know, the intention, and that's where things can get, you know, confused. Uh, we can help him though by having these conversations. If our goal is for the game to grow, and we need everyone, you know, in the same mission working together, if you support us, let's talk about it so we can bring you up to speed on the work that is actually being done that's been done in the past and being done currently, that really needs to be amplified. And so for better or for worse, I think, you know, this conversation is good to keep everything, <clears throat> excuse me, everything top of mind. I think, you know, especially after having and experiencing his thoughts and a lot of the public thoughts and everyone on social media, I immediately am brought back to today, to today you know, the legacy of Kobe Bryant who did not say what he was doing or what the problem was, but he chose to show up, show up at games with his beautiful daughters. He trained us in the off season, WNBA players, top women's hoopers, you know, at his facilities. And, um, you know, my coach is Derek Fisher and Kobe even reached out to us, the LA Sparks at an event and kicked it with us. He knew each and every one of ours games because he had the passion for it. And, you know, he gave us championship level advice and wisdom. And that's exactly the energy that moved the needle. And that's why we miss him dearly, because we need as many allies, however loud, we need as many allies as possible. We need as many accomplices as possible because we're doing it together. But, you know, it's always great to have some help. And so I appreciate Draymond for clarifying. And I do think we, you know, Draymond does need a translator at some points, but I think his heart <laughs> is in the right place. <laughs> In Chanae's heart is definitely in the right place, which we all appreciate. I think the key with allyship is the volume of your voice when it starts detracting from the people that you say that you're trying to, you know, walk beside or help. And I think the importance of how you deliver messages, you said the word delivery, Delivery is key because we've spent, I spent more time this week talking about Draymond Green than I have in my entire life <laughs> between our podcast, between first take, between your show, right? Janae and Golick. I have talked about this man. And I think, and that's what kills me because I think his, I, not I think, I think it's obvious his heart is in the right place. But a lot of people on social media and in the public came with the same energy, like, see, Draymond Wright, all, they're, all those women, all they're doing is, is, is complaining. And I feel like that's the danger of the, the wrong delivery. So, yes, maybe there does need to be a Draymond translator out there. But when you talk about, you bring up the Kobe <laughs> point, it's about how do, you, how do you use your platform, give the platform up? Like, how do you take your, your sway and give it to somebody else that, that, that you want to help. It's not just talking about, oh, what they're doing doesn't work. And I think that was what was very frustrating about it. It's frustrating about it. I have no doubt that Draymond has your number. He can call you up. He can ask the WNBA players. He can ask other women athletes, how can I be of service? How can I help? How can, you know, when I do deals or when, I, you know, when I'm doing marketing or, or merchandising deals, how do I 
also align with the rest of you. Like those are tangible steps. And I'm not trying to force Draymond to do anything, but I'm just talking about the action behind the words. You know, you want the action to, to be louder than, than the voice sometimes. Kimberly, you brought up a great word, complaining, because, and you women understand this, if you speak up for yourself, you can be regarded as complainers, you can be regarded as being bitchy from that standpoint. And if anybody should know better than to put that word out there regarding Megan Rapino, it should be Draymond Green because of his mother, Mary Babers, who is a very strong woman, who has always yes. been very strong in her opinions and telling the truth. I'll never get out of conversation with Draymond Green about four years ago, right after the Golden State Warriors were in the middle of the run of winning championships. I said, where does this come from with you being unafraid to speak your mind? He said, when you grew up in my household with Mary Babers, you better speak your mind and know what the blank you're talking about. So if anybody should have had a problem with Draymond Green saying that that way, it should have been Draymond Green based on his environment and the environment where he came mm -hmm. from. Because Mary Babers, based on what he has said about her and what I've seen about her, she is, does not hold her tongue, but she's always going to come from a place of honesty. Mm -hmm. That's not to say that Draymond was not coming from a place of honesty. To your point, Janae, he needs a mm -hmm. Draymond interpreter. There's Draymond speak, and then he needs somebody to tell me exactly <laughs> what the hell he meant when he said what he had to say. But anytime I always hear about somebody talking about a, a woman speaking up for herself, oh, she's complaining too much. What has she got to complain about? I'm like, dude, stop worrying about being or worry about she's a female and listen to her message. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.